Hello and welcome to the Tank Club. Today we are taking a dive into the Lost Stopwatch Artifact to answer one of the most common questions I've seen over the past few weeks. Is it good for a tank in New World? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic, so please let us know if you've been using the Lost Stopwatch as a tank in New World and tell us why in the comments below. So one of the big reasons people are interested in this artifact is because of the Stunny Gaze part, which says activate taunt gems. Well, how does that work? Basically, any ability that you have that says taunt gem compatible, such as Shockwave or Defender's Resolve, the Lost Stopwatch will be able to activate this taunt without the use of a Carnelian gem slotted in your weapon. You might be thinking, great, now I can taunt without needing a gem. But what gem are you going to slot that is so great that you need to use a whole artifact to accommodate it? Well, there isn't one. If you are a New World tank, you need to know how Threat and Taunt works. Each enemy has a Threat table, and you need to be at the top of this table to make sure enemies are aggroed to you. Threat is typically generated as a tank by damaging the enemy. This threat is greatly increased due to your Carnelian gem, increasing that threat by 300%. So immediately, your gem is allowing you to have higher base level of threat compared to everyone else in your group. When you taunt an enemy, this catapults you to the top of the threat table regardless, but once the taunt expires, if you don't generate enough threat, then your enemy will just run off. This is why you should always be the first person into combat, using light attacks, heavy attacks, non-taunt abilities to instigate combat before using a taunt, because you then have base threat and then you taunt, which means once the taunt expires, you'll still be first on the threat table. Now, if we look back at the Lost Stopwatch, if you decide to use this and ditch your Carnelian Gems, what you'll need to do is you'll have to be the highest DPS player in your group, which is going to be extremely unlikely, especially against multiple targets. It may be good if you are a damage dealer playing as a fake tank, but not really an option for the vast majority of players, especially in the harder mutation content. The other option is you'll need to be able to reduce your ability cooldowns by a lot and have multiple abilities which enable you to maintain 100% AoE taunt of all enemies. This again will be very hard to do since those AoE type taunt abilities usually have extremely long cooldowns such as the 45 second base cooldown on Defender's Resolve. Carnelian Gems allow you to gain aggro of enemies with light attacks, heavy attacks and non-taunt abilities but the Lost Stopwatch does not do this. You could also use despised or hated perks on your gear to replace the threat multiplier you would have gotten from the Carnelian Gem. This will enable those other attacks to generate more threat the same as the Carnelian Gem does, but at this point, you're making a lot of sacrifices just so you can skip on slotting a weapon gem. The Lost Stopwatch does also have 100% stun duration, which could be useful for ad pulls, so you can maintain crowd control of enemies for longer, but comparably, you have other jewellery artefacts such as the Blood Drinker or the Ankh, which in my opinion are much superior to the Lost Stopwatch for a tank. So if we're going to answer the question, is the Lost Stopwatch worth using for a new world tank? My opinion is that it's not worth it, simply because your basic attacks and non-torn abilities will not generate anywhere near enough threat if you ditch the Carnelian Gems. It's not worth sacrificing your build and needing to use the Spies and Hated Perks to make up for the loss of the Carnelian Gems, when there are not any other gems that are so amazing in the game that it's worth dropping them to use this artifact. And you'll most likely still need to slot Carnelian Gems alongside using this, so it doesn't really seem like there's much point. Please take a look at the comments below to see what other tanks are saying about this, and for more discussion on this topic, make sure you join the Tank Club Discord. If you would like to support the Tank Club content, please check out the links in the description below. A huge thank you to our patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.